Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, I'm Kim. This is Core Union. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about attracting love in your life. I'm going to tell a little bit of my story of how I attracted my person into my life. And uh, this is based off of a couple of requests that I've had where people have asked, well, what about manifesting a specific person that isn't already our specific person? In other words, that we weren't in a relationship, that, that they're not an ex. So I'm basically going to talk from my experience of my person only because it was such a perfect example of getting super clear and how magical the process can actually be when you are in alignment with who you actually are and, and you are in trust with God, basically. In that time of my life, I had been in a number of relationships and there were good parts, there were bad parts. I acknowledge and take full responsibility for all of what I created. The 10-year relationship that I had been in um, ended in a very ugly divorce and a lot of very, very, very deep, hurtful things were said. And I ended up carrying that along into, which I didn't realize, into the following relationships. So I had baggage and I didn't necessarily realize that. So I had done a lot of healing and I had been single for, or I wouldn't even say single because I didn't see myself as single. I was just like doing me completely. That's a, that actually sounds kind of funny, but I was, you know, healing. I was doing a lot of inner work and just focusing on wanting to become more empowered, become the best version of me. And I remember one morning I was uh, cooking breakfast and I posted this once before and I I cracked two eggs in a saute pan and they formed in the perfect yin and yang symbol, which was interesting because my thing was wanting to, to have that yin yang balance in a relationship because that's what I always craved and that's what I wanted. And, and, and I just never had that kind of flow. I went on a dating app and this time though, I made a very clear list knowing that I can absolutely have everything that I want in one person, that it is possible, that I am worthy of it, and that I do deserve it, plain and simple, period. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to get super, super, super clear, because I'm going to tell you the experience that I had. So my list basically was that she was my equal divine counterpart. She was my masculine, my divine masculine. She was really kind, loving, very romantic, extremely passionate, brilliant, a genius, very sexy, very strong, protective, love to make me feel safe, very funny, creative. She's extremely loving and adores me. And she allows me to adore her that we enjoy the same music and the same foods that we love dancing, uh, that she loves my dogs, that we love cuddling and kissing, kissing, especially that we absolutely love each other and love every single bit of each other, that we can't get enough of each other. We can't keep our hands off of each other. Whole other level. We just love us and she loves us. That we are perfect for each other, that we enjoy every moment together. And then that she's Italian and taller than me. And again, very strong. So that was my list. And I was like, I'm definitely going to, this is, this is my person. Uh, so I'm on the dating app and you know how it is. People reach out to you and they send hearts or this was match.com. So they send hearts and smiley faces or little messages. There was nothing wrong with any of the, well, maybe there was something wrong with some of them, but you know, there were a lot of attractive women that there was nothing wrong with them. I just wasn't attracted to them. And I'm not somebody who's just attracted to somebody just just for physical looks. It's just, it, there has to be something deeper there. Nothing and nobody was getting my attention at all. And then I don't know how much time has passed. It wasn't too long. One day I went there and there was a new message there. Somebody sent me a heart. And this time 
every single part of me, like every atom in my body was just like, like this feeling of yes, like this pulling, this magnetic pull. And I clicked on her. And when I looked in her eyes, there was the strongest, most piercing centered feeling. It was so, ah, I don't know how to put it. It was just, it was deep, so deep in the very center of me and my, in my core, in my being. And I had felt, don't get me wrong, I felt attracted to other people, obviously in the past, but this was different. This was, I've, I've never felt anything like this before. I looked in her eyes, there was a recognition and I did, you know, I got teary as I continued to get to know her better. She literally checked off every single, single box. And beyond that, there was even more that was beautiful about it as we flourished, there were so many synchronicities with her and I, it was kind of just crazy. And I'm not going to be like specific about private details and things, but I think what you should do is ahead of time, do some inner work. So you don't go through, you know, some of the things of, you know, the fears, the worries, the doubts, don't bring your baggage into it. Recognize the fears, the worries, the doubts that you have in you now from your past. So you don't project fears of like things that happened with your exes, with your family, you know, programs that are running. Make sure that you don't carry those in and don't project them on to your person. You can still have them. You don't have to be fully perfect or healed, but do some inner work to love yourself regardless. So like, don't go into it with the abandonment and rejection wound. So, so prevalent that you end up projecting your fears onto them. Okay. Cause that, that does tend to happen if you're not actually prepared. So do the inner work, love yourself, trust and know that when you make the list and get super, super, super clear, and you're in alignment with the best version of you and you are in alignment with God, God's going to put you guys together. And also from my perspective, the only reason I was able to be so incredibly precisely clear with her was because all creation is done. Past, present, and future is all literally happening right now. But our human, our human bodies and our brains cannot handle that. So that's why we experience things in the slower more particle-based, more, more solid matter form. And in that way, time, though it's an illusion, seems to be going in this linear, slower space or place, pace, whatever. She already existed with me. I became aware of it because I got so clear about what I wanted and who I wanted. And like, it was that kind of, okay, I accept that if you bring her to me, I'm, I'm kind of ready. When I made the list, I wasn't making a list of somebody I wanted to meet. I was making a list of her. That's why I was able to be so clear because her and I existed together before. Her and I actually existed in this human form, in this realm of things, in this life. So get clear and know and trust that you will manifest your person in your life, but do yourself a favor do the inner work of loving yourself, of knowing that you're the prize, knowing that you're worthy, know that you're more than good enough, know that you're not going to be abandoned. You're not going to be rejected. You're not going to be left regardless of the things that happened to you in your past. The love is very safe. Relationships are safe. That commitment is safe and all of that good stuff. If you want coaching, it's very easy. You just look in the description box below, click on the link, book it online email me your backstory, and then I'll reply back with my first available and we'll get to work right away. Okay. I love you guys. Comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.